There's a few things in life that are always certain to happen. The sun will rise in the east and set in the west. Nif Tea will forever be the best tea brand. And this guy will post the first comment on my video uploaded that day, asking me to play Mindustry. Well, today, the Box King Reel, I am breaking that cycle because hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Mindustry. Mindustry. This is why I haven't played it yet. I don't know how to pronounce it. So, it looks like we start from space and we've just landed on this planet and oh look I'm, I'm this little hovery robot thing so what we want to do we want to start mining this copper so i'm doing that like manually which is all fine and stuff but i don't like doing stuff manually we want to use engineering so if we click down here in research we've got a huge tech tree so if we select this mechanical drill you can see it takes 10 copper and because we've already got that we have unlocked it which unlocks more tech tree stuff but more importantly down here we now have the mechanical drill so if we wang one there then look this is now mining you can see there's there's copper ore but we need to move these to our core over here so that they go into our inventory so if we head back into the research tree over this way are conveyors which take five bits of copper so we'll unlock those now for 100 we can add junk as well yeah why not now i need another hundred for a router that's not router americans uh, so that's sort of like a splitter it distributes input items to three output directions equally okay so we've got to get a little bit more copper so you should probably just mine that whilst i'm doing this but we need to we need to place the conveyor belts so we now got a conveyor belt button down this way so let's grab a conveyor let me say go up and then across that way. And that copper should go into my core. Nice. So whilst we're here, it should probably just add loads of more of these mechanical drills. We shove more conveyors like that. Lovely jubbly. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Look, I didn't do this corner. There you go. Now, these mechanical drills, they only take 12 copper. So to be honest, should probably just like max them. So if we do that sort of thing, we can have conveyor belts over like that. Nice. Uh, actually, they're my... <laughs> there might be too much copper on there. The the conveyor belts are sort of chugging a bit. So maybe I'll take these around that way instead. We can sort of have like dual conveyors. Let's see how full they sort of stay. I mean, yeah, still looks pretty full. Okay, so that's probably pretty good. All right, next up, what's this over here? Lead is another commonly used resource. Set up drills to mine lead. Okay, I can do that. And let's try and do this really efficiently this time. Yes, that is efficient. That is efficient. Anyway, that's all of our lead mines. So let's just take conveyors up and put them in this site. So we'll now head back into research. Over this way, we have a duo. Fires alternating bullets at enemies. Oh yeah, this is like Factorio, isn't it? It's tower defense. So we've got that unlocked. What else can we get there? Copper walls, protect structures from enemy projectiles. We got scatter fires, lumps of lead. Okay, so that's another sort of gun thing. Over there, don't know what that is. Okay, anyway, where are enemies gonna come from is... Man, this, this map's huge. What? Oh, it's so big. And this is all my base. Look, this is where the game wants me to shove my turrets. So duo turrets require ammo from conveyors. I think that's just like lumps of copper. So basically, if I shove a duo there which costs does that cost 35 copper i've got a thousand so yeah shove one there shove another one there and then i gotta supply them with copper now thankfully there are copper ore things here so i can literally just let's just try three for now i don't i don't feel like i need to overdo it although maybe i should so it will go all out right so both of our turrets now have ammo that is good now we do have to build some of those copper walls where do you want those games around the turrets Okay, so research copper walls for 20 copper. Oh, there's also large walls as well for 700 copper. I mean, I got I got 1,200. I'm going to do that. I'm going to see what a copper wall looks like. Okay, it's a little square. What does a large copper wall look like? Oh, it's a big square. Wow. Oh, anyway, shove walls around. And then this is the enemy drop zone. Anything built in this radius will be destroyed. Okay, so don't build anything in there. Got it. The wave will now begin. Hang on, I haven't done my walls over this side. I got my walls in. Okay, so there's, there's the enemies. Ah, they're shooting me. Ah, don't shoot me, you knob. Ow, ow, what are you doing? Oh, wait, he's gone straight past the thing. Oh, my goodness. I need more turrets. Flying units cannot be easily dispatched with standard turrets. Scatter turrets are anti-air but require lead as ammo. Okay, got it. I understand where you're going, game. So, research, scatter turret. Shove a scatter turret there. Oh, I've just realized I can shoot myself. Okay, that's that's handy. That is actually quite good to note. But yeah, right, we've got to get lead to this thing. Now, oh, what are these? Oh, pre-built stuff. Oh, it does say derelict. Oh, it all says derelict. Okay, so I can just remove that stuff for, like, resources, I guess. Oh, these these like walls I can get as well. Oh, is that how I remove like these? 
Are these just walls? No, they're not walls. I don't know what they are. Anyway, mechanical drills. Let's get them in. We can then take our conveyor up this way, which means hopefully we will be good at when we get attacked from the from the air. Look, we're being attacked. Well, actually, look, there's a timer for when the enemies come. I tell you what, let's get another scatter gun. I think what I might do as well, I might convey that side and then delete all of those. Because then I can do like a line of scatter guns if I need them. Uh, in the meantime, though, probably should... Let's get some walls. I'm literally thinking large copper walls all the way across. Uh, oh, they just destroyed all my walls. Oh, you're not. <laughs> all right, I'm shooting you. I'm shooting you. Ow, you're shooting me. <laughs> right, we got rid of that one. Our copper walls really did not last long, did they? Anyway, right, we'll just build all these walls in. Okay, good. I think I think that's good anyway. Since I've got these walls, I feel like maybe I should move all my turrets up a bit or like at least add like a load of turrets just behind these. All right, and then if we do a bit of research, what was it? Oh yeah, this router. So that distributes three ways. I think that's what I want. So then I can grab the router, shove it there, and then I think conveyor out that way and conveyor out that way. We've now like made a pitchfork of ammo distribution. Beautiful. So we'll do the same over this side. We'll do walls either side. And then I might just do another layer of like thick wall. All right, nice. Okay, I think that's I think that's pretty good for now. Yeah, it looks like we get attacked by waves like quite frequently. Sort of every minute. Perhaps it's worth just really going to town on my turrets. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's pretty good actually. That did some damage. Yeah, this side we've only got three turrets. We took a bit more of a beating. So definitely get more turrets down. And add a few more scatter guns down. I say should really move these forwards, but effort, innit? I think they'll be fine back there. Right now, I should probably focus on actually getting some more resources and stuff. So let's have a little look in the research tree. What should we be aiming for? So, oh, distributor distributes input items to seven output directions. Okay, unlock that. We got the sorter. Oh, so we can mix things up on conveyors and then sort them after that's good <gasps> a bridge conveyor transports items over terrain or buildings yes i want a bridge then overflow gate inverted sorter and underflow gate okay now i've unlocked everything i can i think yeah so i guess for now we just try and we just try and mine like all of this stuff okay so that's pretty good we are under attack up here are we yeah i mean we're sort of coping our wall took some damage there let's just wang another large copper wall in nice okay i think they're pretty good though so let's just try and convey all this stuff out all right then we'll take this down to our building thing probably need a separate conveyor as well actually so let's take these ones next to it oh man looks like all these ones down the bottom they need to go another way can i use my bridge like if i were to take these conveyors this direction bridge conveyor so can i bridge from there over to there oh yes i can we got our first bridge you know what that means we need a bridge review it's a bridge that takes copper from one conveyor over other conveyors to the other side allowing me to take triple the resource into our thing in the middle i can't remember what's called however having watched this for a while i can see there's big gaps on the copper so maybe i didn't actually need to put three in maybe two would have done which therefore makes the bridge a little bit pointless so overall i give this bridge a 3.7 out of 10 bridge review and by the way, if you want to do your own bridge reviews at home to make them 100% authentic, check out the bridge review t-shirt from a merch store, realcivilengineer.com. Yeah, they'll probably make a good Christmas gift. Anyway, while I'm here, I am actually going to I'm going to merge some conveyors. Let's try and get that more efficient. I probably don't need like that anymore. I'll still use this middle one. I'll probably get like another resource going from up here. Uh, by the way, we are we are under attack. How are we getting up? Man, our defenses are so strong up here. This is awesome. Right, anyway, over this way, is this all derelict stuff? Yeah, scrap walls and just scrap. So presumably I can just destroy all of these. And oh, is scrap an actual... Is scrap a resource? Can I mine scrap? Oh, look, I've just stuck a miner on scrap. Oh, it's creating scrap. I've got a new resource, everyone. I've got a new resource. All right, this is a bit all over the place. The scrap is quite randomly placed but i think that's pretty good let's just get a conveyor Ooh, and let's actually check how our walls get oh they're bursting through they're bursting through no they destroyed a turret now ah, they destroyed me i just spawned back here all right let's get back up oh my goodness look at the damage they, they destroyed two turrets oh i actually have to pay attention again now all right let's get the large walls back in oh man that was can't why did that happen i don't know why that happened i mean maybe if i come up and help defend we'll be all right but i think for now i've just gotta i gotta try and get this new resource let's just take it down i'll try and stick to the outside 
till we get to here because then I can just use that middle conveyor. Nice. Okay, so now we should have scrap, which probably means in the research tree, once this makes it to our little building thing, what is this called? The core. The core. Uh, hopefully we'll get something else to research. But yeah, for now, let's head up here because we are under attack. I'm going to shoot up that way as well. I don't think they can shoot past my walls, right? So if I just shoot from back here, we're all good. Yeah, okay, me helping really did help. All right, anyway, now we've defended all the waves. You see top left, the sector has been captured. All right, so this is the planet we're on. You can see, look, the sun's over there. Uh, we are at ground zero. We can now expand out, and I'm guessing we want to head over to the frozen forest. There are some other, like, locked ones as well. But yeah, presumably, looking around, there's, like, are there, like, other planets I can go I can go land on? That's cool. Anyway, let's go, I reckon, that way. Is this saying we can only take 2,000 items with us? And we've got like loads of thousands. I don't know. Let's launch. So, oh, look, there we go. There we go. All right. So now we've landed here, which has all new resources. Uh, first things first, though, four minutes, we're going to be attacked. So let's work out where we get attacked from. Oh, man, this place is. Why is this place so big? Okay. So we get attacked from over here. Right. So let's set up some of our miners here. I think this is this is copper, right? So we'll shove a duo down there. Yeah, look, I've, I've kept all my resources from the last round. That's good. So I probably want to stay like a little bit longer just in order to uh, to collect as much resource before I move on. That's good to know for next time. Do it for now. Let's load up these other turrets and then get some walls in. So I've got a load of big walls. I'm a little bit concerned, though. It said if I build within this circle, things will get destroyed. I'm sort of wondering what counts as in the circle. Like, have I pushed it a bit far with these or is it literally touching the circle i don't know i guess we'll find out so back to where my where my starting thing is that's up here so i need to make sure we got copper coming in probably get some of this lead as well so mine is on there and then i think this is yeah this is a new resource titanium i do need the better drill right okay that's what we need to focus on. How do you get better drill? There it is. Well, I'm guessing that's where it is because can you see that? That's where the normal mechanical drill is. So I reckon this one coming off is probably what I need. And that says research silicon. Up here, it's a silicon smelter. So we've unlocked that. All right, refined silicon from sand and coal. Do I know how to get sand yet? I wonder, do I get sand just by like, just by drilling the ground? Are you making sand? Oh, I think it is. Oh, is that all I had to do? Oh, look how efficient my sand mining is now. <laughs> right, so we need coal now. Is that coal? Yes, that is coal. So shove the coal on there. All right, so now we have coal. Now we have sand, which means we can mix them in a silicon smelter, I guess. So if I put silicon smelter there, then I think that is now making silicon decent. Wait, not decent. I don't think, I don't think it's working. It's not work. Why is it not working? <laughs> All right, let's try routers on both sides. Oh, it just doesn't seem to be... It just doesn't seem to take those resources. How do I get this to work? Oh, wait, down there. Health power. Does it need power? I've got power now. Power node, battery, combustion generator. Oh, man, there's so much stuff. Okay, so I think I need this combustion generator to burn coal. If I shove that there and put a router there, then yes, we have power. We have silicone. Silicone, silicon. Oh, I actually figured something out. That's awesome. Anyway, I need to go check my defenses because I have just left them to it. So, oh, to be fair... To be fair, they're looking okay. Just shove a router in there so we get some get some ammo to there. Okay, that's pretty good. What I may do, just add a few more sort of drills back here. I imagine adding adding these duos right next to it means yeah, the ammo, the ammo bar is going up. So yeah, I didn't have to do like little conveyor belts. Good to know. But yeah, I think I just need to shove these like everywhere, basically. Alright, we're under attack. I'm gonna help shoot as well. Because look, oh, they've destroyed a wall. No bad. Put a new wall in back there. I'm gonna get my air defenses in. All right, and then let's have a look in the in the tech tree. Have we unlocked? Oh, I was gonna say a better mine. I don't think we have yet. What is that? Core foundation, core of the base, well armored, stores more resources than a shard. I have no idea what that is. Oh my goodness, I need some resources to unlock that though. What about this one? Ground factory. Oh, produces ground units. Oh, that could be good. I look how much resource I need. I don't have any of those resources. I guess because I'm oh, I don't really know why. I feel like I should probably do all this like later on. I should probably focus on just like defending myself. But yeah, I'm definitely going to need more copper. So we'll try and take some copper back to base. All right, so I'll get these in. I'm probably going to let's shove some towers down here just to like defend ourselves. But yeah, helps if you make the last conveyors. There you go. We're actually getting the copper now. Decent. So copper is finally going up. Not very fast though. Definitely need to get some more. Is that because 
Do these like run out of resources? They don't appear to be outputting very fast. I can only assume that's because we the resources do actually run out. They're not infinite. I don't know actually. They just seem really, really slow. Okay, let's try and focus on building these, these mines. There's so many mines here, but there's hardly any copper. All right, I'm going to go defend my base as well. Oh, it's looking, it's looking okay though, to be fair. Yeah, I'll tell you what though, where we have all these routers, I'm going to shove a few more, a few more turrets down. I think that's wise. All right, then is it worth like second defensive wall? I think it might be. If I can do a wall like that, so that should stop them going that way. And then I can always add turrets here. There's, there's copper over that way to be my ammo, so that's fine. And do another wall along here as well. So yeah, in the meantime, let's drill this all up. All right, okay, so these defenses are pretty much in. This is my backup wall, remember? So that is good. Oh, flying enemies, flying enemies. That's not good. I'll tell you what, might be worth adding a few more of these scatter guns down. And I'm really struggling with copper. I don't understand like why it's so slow. Still, my wall is now in. I've just got to get this wall in. I don't have any copper though. Right, I've got to find some more copper. There just really isn't a lot dotted about. There's a little bit there. There's a few little patches. All right, so that's more going up anyway. We've got like 300 now. That is not enough. But hopefully it will allow me to build this wall. Then I've got to get some some ammo behind it. And yeah, my aim is once I'm sort of protected, once I know I won't die instantly, I can then go get all the new resources and all the upgrades and stuff that I need. Oh, look, that got destroyed. Get a new drill in there. Yeah, right. Loads of duos along here. Then that is every side sort of double protected. We've got this main wall at the front. Then we've got these walls behind. Oh, wait, wait, what's down there? Where did you guys come from? No, where did they come from? Oh no, how has this happened? That's it, come over this way. I've got backup defenses over here. Right, okay, that's somewhat good. We did defend ourselves. The trouble is, how did they get in? Where did they come from? Don't say they, they like attack from a different a different end now or something. Oh no, look, they're spawning there and going straight down. I didn't know they could go straight down. Oh no. Right, okay, we've got a little bit of time. Let's just try and get these duos in. Right, more duos around the back. Oh no, they've gone that way. They've gone that way. Oh, knobs. <laughs> right, quickly, quickly. More duos, more duos. Oh, they've gone, they've gone up there. Okay, that's good. I don't mind you going up there. That's the one I just defended. I can distract them as well. Yeah, shoot me, shoot me. Okay, we defended. We did defend. Now the trouble is I've realized they can come around this way. So I guess we need defenses down here now. So if I just completely surround all of these, like they, they are not getting through that, surely. And that's it. Go on, turrets. Go on, turrets. I think now I've just got to get some walls in to try and deter them. So if I wall like down here and then try and build all these turrets quick. Right, let's just check the anti-air. Oh, the anti-air is beautiful. And then, oh yes, I think this was enough to just put in that wall in these turrets. It made them come over this way. Okay, that's good. I've just got to repair these, reconnect my conveyors back up. All right, and then we're back in business. We're being attacked where we want to be attacked. I think I will just finish this wall. Maybe worth adding a little bit of anti-air down here as well. All right, nice. I feel defensive now. Okay, so let's finally go back in the tech tree and try and work out how the hell do we unlock a better drill. Let's try the ground unit. Oh, what do I need for that? 2.4 silicon. Right, back to base. How much silicon are we making? Two. What do you mean two? <laughs> I've only got three silica. How How's that possible? All right, I think I need to find some more coal. Is that coal up there? Yeah, this is coal. Let's get mining that. Okay, so coal here. Shove a load of sand mines there. So, and they're both on the same conveyor, which means if I root out, say, from there, I can get a generator in. And next to it, silicon smelter. And it may, it actually, it may be worth moving these. Do a different arm for the sand coming in. That makes sense. All right, so then silicon can come out this way and then in like that. So that that should be loads of silicon. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's good. Decent. Right, now I'm going to go help defend my base. Because, yeah, look, we lost we lost a wall there. We lost a turret. But aside from that, I had no idea, like, how much I had to focus on defenses. Like, look at this. There's, <laughs> there's so many turrets. But, yeah, I feel like that should defend me, okay? So I'm just going to try and make more silicon. So I've got coal in the middle going to those silicon smelters. You can see the power from the outside. I've just got two little things down here. So then from the top, I just need... Need a load of sand and the silicon should come out and then we can take that back to base all right nice this looks like they're they're not getting enough sand so let's just do another arm in from both sides do a load more sand mines like that and that should speed up production hang on we're under attack we're under attack <laughs> 
Oh boy, that was air defense. We nearly, they nearly made it through there. Tell you what, a couple more scatter guns, I think. A couple of backup ones a bit further into my base as well. All right, anyway, as I was trying to get some more, some more lead to my base, we captured the sector, which basically means I think I'm now safe to actually do the, like, the Factorio stuff rather than the defensive stuff. So how far off unlocking this are we? A load of silicon still. I mean, there's a lot of silicon coming in, but we, we need more. So our conveyors here go straight through a load of coal. So what I might do just go just go the scenic route there guys so then we can mine all of these yummy all right so that is more silicon being made it right, might be worth getting this graphite press on the go as well so that requires coal and it creates graphite now there's a load of coal there does graphite presses do they require power no doesn't it like it okay that's cool all right so anyway we now have graphite going on which means there's new stuff to unlock like an illuminator and a Scorch. I think, oh, that's a weapon. The Scorch. Nice. Oh, the other thing I never tried was the Pyrotype Mixer. All right, so that takes coal and sand and lead and makes Pyrotite, which definitely isn't made up. Oh, but also, oh, it also needs power. Stupid power. Actually, I did see up here, I've got solar panels. So if I just surround this thing in solar panels. Yes, we've made the Pyrotite stuff. Oh, and I've just unlocked the ground factory. So I assume a dagger I can unlock. I need more silicon. Of course I do. So then that'll be a little troop that I can use. Decent. Anyway, no idea where this next drill is so I can get titanium. Maybe it's capture the frozen forest. Who knows? But for now, I reckon I've achieved quite a lot today. So give the old like button a boost if you want to see more. If you want to see me try and mine this titanium finally. <laughs> I feel like such a noob sometimes. Okay, okay, all, all the time. But still, thank you for pushing me to play this. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Whether we'll be back, not entirely sure. But for now, peace, love. And going all out on warfare is the only answer. Bye, guys.